A strong Jewish heritage and a passionate involvement with our Jewish community is the driving force for all our 8 over 80 honorees. Everybody should be involved with the Jewish community to make sure that it's a healthy one and continues to grow. Arthur Vitters feels our future depends on more people, especially youth getting involved. For Arthur, this passion started at an early age. We always had parties at the house, uh, Hanukkah parties, uh, Rosh Hashanah, uh, so many, so many events uh, at our house. And the, the Jewishness of all of these events entered my bones and it became a part of me. I always was involved in, in Jewish culture and when I came to Tampa, I immediately got involved in Rota Shalom and in all other activities in the community. For Elaine Vitters, volunteering in the community also means cultivating new friendships and a gateway to involvement with multiple organizations and causes. Her community service encompasses both mentoring and leadership. I feel that I am both a mentor and a leader. And uh, this is what um, I am doing to um, communicate out in the Tampa Bay area. I uh, communicate with uh, Hadassah ladies, I communicate with uh, congregation ladies, and, uh, and I know that I am around to be available for people who are in need of communication. I was always involved with membership. I love greeting new people. I love talking about our temple. I love being involved with sisterhood. Barbara Moody, who's been volunteering for over 50 years, just loves the Nachas being part of our Jewish community brings to her. To me, Congregation Beth Am is our home away from home. So when new people come to a reception, I encourage them to look at all the activities that we do and how friendly everybody is and what we have to offer them, most of all, that this is their Jewish home away from home. Well, to me, involvement is number one. And to meet new people, greet them when they come into the synagogue. Harold Perlman learned how to be a leader in the U.S. Army. And ever since, he's not only been involved with Jewish community service, he's also strived to get others involved. And if you know Harold, you know he's a people person and a hard man to turn down. I wanted to be one of the leaders. I just don't want to sit back and just not even raise my hand when they, when they ask something. I'm not like that. In the Army, I wasn't like that. And in civilian life, I was not like that. I am passionate about giving back to the community what the community has given to me. Shirley Canass is not shy about her most personal issue with the future of Judaism. In fact, she's rather outspoken on the matter. I am passionate about the Jewish language dying, and I want, want to see it continue. Um, I believe in nostalgia. I believe in Yiddish. I speak Yiddish. I was bil bilingual. I went to Yiddish school. I would. I'm compassionate about the Jewish, the Yiddish kite leaving us. My wife and I, we feel Judaism is very important to us. We practice it in, in its fullest. For Stanley Bush, practicing Judaism according to Jewish law means being a Jew in its fullest sense. Stanley is a retired engineer, temple administrator, and he still volunteers and consults on the observance of Jewish dietary laws. I feel that if you're Jewish, you know, you should be doing that. And if you're not doing that, why are you Jewish? So the thing is, this is very important to me and you know, my family and, and uh, my children. I feel like you need to do what you think is right, not because it's the easiest, but because it's right. My mother and father brought me up that way. Jerry Shine moved to Tampa in 1949 from South Georgia and has always had a strong connection to the Jewish community. His strong business and accounting background has served our community well. It wasn't easy in growing up in a small town in Georgia, being Jewish, uh, and maybe that's uh, one of the reasons that uh, you had stronger sense of values uh, of the Jewish religion. I would say for the community to be united, I think that just being and feeling that you're Jewish, I think that 
that's what should be the uniting element I think the community needs to be united around that. Merrill Jacobs has the distinction of being part of the Tampa Jewish community his entire life. Merrill is not only a staunch supporter of Israel, Merrill sees all Jews united as one people. My position is that I don't see people as reform, conservative, or orthodox. I believe that we are one people and uh, that we should all, we are entitled to our positions, but need to understand the other positions of, uh, and other parts of Judaism. Our traditions, our spirituality, and our collective love of Judaism has been an inspiration to all our honorees. All my children, all three of them, were bar mitzvah and confirmed. And I had never been bar mitzvah or confirmed because when I was a young girl, they didn't believe that girls could do that, were allowed to be bar mitzvah. When Rabbi Zimmerman was here, he started a bar mitzvah class for four of us. And in 2006, four of us at an advanced age, past the age of 13, became bat mitzvah. And it was just a lot of fun. We had a great big wonderful bat mitzvah for everybody, and um, it was just wonderful. Uh, Judaism is, a, is, I feel, a, a great religion. It's, it's special for me. I think it's the religion I believe in very specially. I've been keeping uh, certain places kosher. I supervise kashrut for uh, Weinberg Village, for uh, certain other places, other food manufacturers in the area. I've trained people at uh, Kolami and they keep kosher, Kolami kosher. I've, uh, I've done, uh, you know, things for people and so forth to maintain uh, Judaism and uh, Kashrut. And I think that's important and so I just keep on doing it. It's all important to me. My communication with Hadassah folks is important to me because of the last number of years I've been so involved and I feel that um, it's important to maintain that kind of feeling and to outreach for younger ladies as well. And this is what I'm trying to do. I came up in a uh, very uh, classic reform era as far as the temple was concerned and grew through my participation in various parts of the community to be more accepting of uh, different positions. If you look on the cornerstone of the Rota Sholem Synagogue, I'm the only one that's on the cornerstone that's still living. <laughs> I was a treasurer when we were going to build a, the building there. Every time I pass it, I think about that, uh, getting that mortgage and, and then when we broke ground there. And I joined the, a men's club then. I was just a regular member of the men's club. When I became uh, president of the men's club, and I worked with all the other synagogues, and once a month each synagogue took a turn to make a dinner and invite members of the other synagogues. Seeing the anti-Semitism while I was stationed in Austria and Germany, I said, I have to do something about that. I have to help others. I became even more interested in Jewish uh, events and Jewish activities. It became a part of my, my very being, my very essence. Participating in activities that helped the Jewish people in one way or another was a natural. All our honorees agree it is their Jewish values that most impact and drive their community involvement. They mean the right way to live the right way to respect your neighbors, to respect your family, to honor your parents. Those are the values that you get from Judaism. I believe it was my father who always said, you have to give back what you get. And that, that made me want to give back whatever I had of value to someone else. It's my um, inner uh, feelings for Judaism and for culture, for others in the community to be aware of as well and to communicate with as many people, young people, older people, and to make sure that they are aware of who they are and how to communicate with one another. When I was probably 10 or so, we were having a Seder at home. And the thing that most impressed me in during the whole Seder was 
that I was looking at the picture on the front of the uh, book, which was the Jews coming out of Egypt. And we came out of Egypt as one people, not as different groups of people. And that's always stuck in my mind. I experienced it. The KKK was, was strong in, in South Georgia at the time. And also, uh, <clears throat> it wasn't easy when I got out of college to find a job. I, my interviews were cut short. And then, uh, so uh, I experienced that uh, as a young man and, and as a child. I was a defender. I was doing it because I was Jewish and they were criticizing me because I was Jewish. As a mentor, I was part of all the uh, membership drives about bringing in new members. And I would greet all the new members and tell them all about um, what Temple was like and, um, and, and invite them to, be, to become members. You have to be a good person. You have to maintain yourself. You have to be good to your family, good to your wife, good to your neighbors and everything else, because that's what Judaism tells me, especially in the Ten Commandments. You know, you shall do all these things for people, and I agree. Our honoree's greatest hope and prayer is that their legacy can live on through future generations. We're community, and I think community and all the organizations in Tampa really should spend a lot of time together. And uh, this will promote friendships, it will promote um, activity, community in, the, in our Tampa area, and uh, we hope that we can uh, enable younger folks to become more active. Well, if they want to lead, that's the main thing. And to get interested in other things, they may have ideas that I don't have or other people have. I don't think that we should forget our past. You know, it's easy for people to say, uh, you know, what's your past been? And uh, there's so much persecution, and etc. Uh, I don't think that that should stop us from doing things in the community that we think are right. Start with your children when they're young and encourage them to speak the language, to learn the language, not just to go to Hebrew school, but to get a Yiddish school along with it. It helps. It makes a difference. Be aware of your uh, Jewish heritage and make sure that the activities that others participate in uh, and have participated in are continued. And uh, if necessary, you know, give up a little bit of more of your personal time to help others. And this is, this is how I see the, uh, uh, the future of, uh, of our community, of our Jewish community. A hearty mazel tov to all our 2017 8 over 80 honorees. I am honored to be, to be selected for uh, this 8 over 80, and I am hoping that others who would see me would emanate from what I have been doing in the community. It has been an honor, a genuine honor, to be recognized for activities in the Jewish community. And I'm honored to be one of the eight over 80 this year. I'm very honored to be selected as one of the eight over 80 members of the community. I want to thank everybody for honoring me. It is a great honor to be here in the eight over 80. I do appreciate the, the honor. I, I'm surprised that, uh, that it was uh, given to me, but uh, it is an honor. I'm very supportive of the uh, of the community, and uh, it's good to, to know that uh, it's recognized now. And I want to thank you for honoring me. It's very special to me, and uh, it's made very important for me and my family and everything. I feel very humble about being honored. Uh, I never thought that what I was doing was of that much of a value that other people would recognize it. I do it because I wanted to do it. I. I help out wherever I can because I want to. I wish to thank the uh, community uh, for the, this award. Uh, there's certainly a lot of other people who deserve it. I hope that a lot of, I can influence some people to uh, work with the community uh, as it's always in need of leadership and participation.